So I'm going to draw a diagram for the beam. So the beam is AB. The beam is AB as shown in this question. So they are telling us it has, it is uniform. So meaning that the weight acts at its center. So if, if this is, if it is four meters, so meaning that the weight is at the two, it's at the two meters max, this it is four meters. So the weight is at this point. And since the mass is 50 kilograms, that means that the weight will be 500 newtons. Because weight is given by mass times G and G we use 10. So this will be 50 multiplied by 10, which is 500. 500 newtons, okay. Uh, then uh, they are saying that it rests horizontally on two supports placed 0 0.5 meters from A. So there is a support which is at 0 0.5 meters from A. So meaning that from here up to here where it is 0 0.5 meters, 0 0.5 meters. And then there is another support here, which is also at a distance of 0 0.5 meters from B. This distance is also 0 0.5 meters this time from B. The beam carries a load of 75 kilograms at a distance of 1.5 meters from A. So at a distance of 1.5, so if this is 0 0.5, so meaning that the load is carried at a distance, uh, the, load, the load is carried, if the load is here, this is the load. Uh, which has a mass. So this distance from here up to where the load is, this distance should be one meter. So if you add one plus 0 0.5, it gives 1.5 meters from A. So meaning that the distance between this and this is also 0 0.5 meters. 0 0.5 meters, okay. Uh, so uh, if the load is here and it is 75 kilograms, so you can also look for its weight. So the weight will be 75 times 10, which is 750 newtons. So since it is sitting on top, it will be pushing this beam downwards like this, downwards like this, and therefore its weight will be pulling the beam downwards at this point, which is 750, 750 newtons. So at every pivot, there is what we call the reaction or what we call a normal reaction. So at this pivot, there is a normal reaction, if I call it R1. And also at this pivot, there is also a normal reaction, if I call it R2. So at every pivot, there is a normal reaction. So for this side, I've called it R1. And for the other side, I've called it R2. So to find the value of R1 and R2, we shall use the two conditions for a body to be in equilibrium. The first one which says the sum of forces in one direction should be equal to the sum of forces in the opposite direction. Uh, therefore, according to that one, it gives us that R1, it gives us that R1 plus R2 should be equivalent to the forces which are pulling downwards, that is 750, multiplied by 500, multiplied by five, sorry, plus 500, not multiplied, 750 plus 500 newtons. Okay, and then this is the first one using the sum of forces. Then we can go ahead and, 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 use, and use one of these pivots, you can either use this or this, but please, when, whenever you're going to resolve, use one of the pivots. So you can choose to use this pivot or you choose to use this. You can't use all the two pivots at once. So for me, if I choose to use this pivot, this side, so we are going to, we are going to resolve all these forces. We see which forces are clockwise and which ones are clockwise with, with using this as our pivot. So this force here of 750 will be acting in this direction, meaning it is clockwise. This will be clockwise. Then this R2 here will be anti-clockwise. And then, and then 
Uh, this R1, since it is at exactly at the pivot, it, it has no effect to all the other forces when resolving because it is located at the position of the pivot. So we can now go ahead and resolve. Uh, for the clockwise moments, we have 750, 750 times its distance from the pivot. 750 is at a distance of one meter from the pivot. So if we get that, we add it to another clockwise, clockwise moment, which is 500 the, from the force of 500 times its distance from the pivot, which is 1.5 meters. This should be equivalent to the anti-clockwise one, which is caused by R2 times its distance from the turning point. So the distance from the turning point, remember it is 0 0.5 meters from B. So meaning that the distance from here to here is 1.5. So the distance of R2 from the pivot is 1.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 1. So 1.5 plus 0 0.5, that's 2. 2 plus 1, that's 3 meters. So finally, uh, you work out this to find the value of R. So you end up having 750. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, if you sum up what you have on the left uh, this gives 750, even this gives 1,500. Two. So if you divide by three on both sides, end up with R2, which is the reaction on the other side as being equivalent to 500. R2 is 500 newtons. So we've already found the reaction on, on one of the supports which is 500 newtons. Okay, uh, then uh, we can now find the reaction R1. So for R1, we shall use this equation here. For R1, we shall use this equation here. R1 plus R2 should be equivalent to 750 plus 500. So if you substitute R2 as 500 newtons, you end up getting R1 as being equivalent to 750 newtons. So finally, we've obtained the value of R1 and R2 for both cases.